final rinse of the crawfish. Make sure you get all the little all the mud, the dirt, the grass off these crawfish the best you can. Got that dirt right there. Right there. Just let the all drain. When you uh, purge the crawfish, it kind of cleans itself out, sort of throws up and poop all this poop out by uh, taking in the salt water. So I'm gonna clean it up one more time. And I should be good to go after that. This is the last fence here. I'll show you how clean the water is. I did the, uh, I did about two rinses, soaked in the water. I used about, I feel like to leave it about an hour the first one. The second one, you can, after you rinse it, you'll do like five minutes or so. It should be clean. You to drain the water. I don't recommend doing this, but just get your hand, and I want to unplug the sink by just sticking my hand in there. If you're like, don't, you know, crawfish may bite you, but if you're real careful and you can just pull the plug right like that. Crawfish really don't, not aggressive here. There you give it a final rinse. All the dirt is off. Clean. Let's get some garlic and some onions. Let's mess it all in this food processor. This is going to be the base for our sauce and uh, part of our boil also. So this is a new thing I'm doing, adding pineapple to my uh, crawfish saute and sauce. I got this tip off of Facebook and I tried it once before already and it makes, the, uh, makes it more citrusy. This is how I'm cutting my pineapple. Like so you just cut it in chunks and just throw it in there and these are pretty good to eat after you do the uh, the boil also. Corn is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it into this uh, little bowl here. I'll pour the hot water inside of it also, just to keep everything still warm when you need it. Some people like to put butter on it afterwards. I do. Or uh, use a crawfish sauce to dip into it. So I'm gonna just pour the hot water in there just to keep it warm. I'm gonna use this little pot to uh, make my sauce in. 
We'll go step by step how to saute my crawfish and make the sauce. Generally, I like to use a, a little wok like this. If it's something bigger, probably better. Something like this would probably do about between three and five pounds of crawfish, depending on the size of it. We'll go ahead and start the, uh, the fire on high. I have a little saucepan for my sauce also. First step is get the butter. I usually like to use this country cock, the original version, not the uh, the one with calcium. We're going to go ahead and do about it's going to be probably like two big tablespoons full of butter in here. I like butter in my crawfish; it gives it that extra taste. taste to it. Probably put a little bit more on the sauce. Probably need three tablespoons to finish off this butter container. Okay. Next step is basically put your, your garlic, crushed garlic and onions mix in there. I'm gonna put in the sauce first. I'll put the rest in my little saute mix. The sauce is the main thing that will flavor the crawfish up. I'll put more, more uh, garlic in my sauce rather than the, uh, the salty mix here. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook up the onions real quick. I have some extra uh, sauce in my proof process. What I want to put some. Uh, Get the rest of it out. I'm gonna stick some uh, orange juice. Clean it out a little bit. I'll show you how I do that. You don't want to throw away all that. The first thing I'm gonna use is. Louisiana crawfish shrimp and crab boil. You don't need to use a lot. You can use this. I use just use a, just a, uh, a tablespoon full. Crawfish is cooking, the onions is uh, salting pretty nicely there. So I use between one and two tablespoons. I'm getting a spoon like this. Dip it in there. Same thing with my sauce. If you put too much in there, it's going to be really salty. You know, I don't like salty crawfish like most places have it. I'm going to put like half more tablespoon into this one. My main pot. That's pretty much all you need. This bag was probably last year, probably the whole season. My next thing I want to do is use ground cumin. You can find a big jar like this at your local Kroger's. That's about $10 a jar. It gives it like a smoky flavor. Let me put, this is probably going to be like one tablespoon. I'm not measuring by tablespoon, but I'm doing everything by eye. A little bit more or less won't hurt. You'll taste it later on. You can add or add more to it if it doesn't taste right. make it real spicy. It's going to be cayenne pepper. I like mine extra spicy. I'm going to put uh, about two tablespoons of this.
Then you can add more if you want it more spicy. This thing will be a tablespoon of sugar. Give it a little sweet flavor to it. Okay. This is optional, but I like to use chicken powder. I use something called this chicken powder. Uh, this is going to be about a tablespoon also. Give it a like a chicken brothy taste to the flavor. This is optional. I like to put some MSG into my uh, crawfish. You don't need to put a lot in there. I usually put like half a tablespoon full or so. I've been trying this thing, ground uh, ginger. So I'm gonna try to a bit of this in there. This is optional also, but I'm going to try it. And that's pretty much all the ground dry ingredients. Give this a stir real quick. Lower the fire a little bit. Nice and thick. So to give that citrusy flavor, I'm going to add the pineapple, lemon and orange juice. Put in the pineapple first. This is the part of the, the skin of the pineapple earlier. I'm going to dump that in there. Of course, I don't eat anyway, but I don't want to throw it away. Put a more, couple more chunks in there. Same thing with my sauce. So this is what I want to work. I'll use simple orange juice with the high pulp because I like eating the pulp inside of it. Probably gonna put like a half a cup or a cup in here. I'm gonna use my little garlic container I did earlier. Kind of get all the uh, garlic bits off of that. Put that in there. sauce. So everything I'm doing to this pot, I'm doing to my sauce pan also. Sauce just gives it, you know, once you boil the salty crawfish in here, they're going to get, uh, form a lot of liquid inside of it, so it's not as flavorful. So the next step is put one lemon here, just squeeze it, the juice is out. Put the lemon, whole lemon inside of it, and sauce also. Play through the sauce pan. Sometimes I like to put oranges inside my uh, sauce also, but since I have the orange juice, I really don't need it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is basically give this a taste test. So make sure the flavor is the way you want it. Give it a good stir. See how thick that sauce is. Okay.
right now it's a little bit too salty. So we'll put some more orange juice in there. Give it a more citrusy flavor. Okay. Sugar on the side. And we got a little bit more orange juice. It's a little bit too uh, salty because I use a tablespoon and a half of that crawfish seasoning. There we go. May have to limit to that. I like my crawfish very citrusy. Saucepan, you go ahead and turn it down. You don't want to overcook it. Again, you're going to add more flavoring to your taste. A bit of a cumin over here. If you want to like make it a little look a little bit better, put some uh, parsley flakes on top of it. It adds a little bit of flavor, but more of the flavor it adds a bit more color to the uh, crawfish. Good that looks. Okay. Now a couple more pineapples. So let's go throw this uh, other lemon I put in there. The next step is basically put the crawfish in there. And put the lid on there. So here's the crawfish. I'm going to do about between three and five pounds at a time. Sometimes you don't want to bring out the big crawfish pot and do this all at one time. Crawfish should die pretty quickly once the heat gets to it. Give it a good stir so the uh, let them die pretty quick. Move the crawfish from the top to the bottom. 
the one at the bottom is boiling liquid already, so it died pretty quickly. Do the same thing from top to the bottom here. Go ahead and cover it. And uh, in about 10 minutes, should be done. Here's what the uh, crawfish sauce looks like right now. You're gonna pour this on the top or use the dipping sauce after the crawfish is done. Also, the crawfish are pretty dead. This is what the crawfish right now looks like. You wanna stir it up after five minutes or so. So I'll give it about 10 more minutes. And we're gonna leave. This is about 10 minutes in. All the crawfish is getting that red color it's known for. I'm gonna get about five more minutes and it should be done. So this is almost done. I'm gonna give it one last stir. You see, you notice how red the crawfish is. I'm gonna open one up just to verify that it's cooked. Try this one here. Put the lid back on. And we'll come over here. And let's basically test it out. Crack open the tail. Make sure the meat is nice and white color. And the inside. It has that nice little golden color there. That's the best part. If you haven't eaten crawfish before, that's the best part. By the way, this is my sauce. I'm gonna dip in that sauce. The crawfish is done, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it into our little bucket here. You can use a strainer or something, but I like to just go ahead and just get my little spoon and just dump it into your bucket. Right now it's about, what is it, April of 2020, 2021. And the crawfish is a good size right now. It's going to last up until summertime. It's too hot for the crawfish to survive. This year, 2021, this crawfish has been pretty expensive. On average, about $3.50 to $4 a pound at places. I'm guessing because of the, uh, the cold uh, winter we've been having up in Louisiana, Texas area, it causes the crawfish prices to go up. Well, I think it may be going down slowly. So after you put all the crawfish into this uh, your little uh, bucket here, we're gonna pour or sauce that you made over it. That's where all the, most of the flavor is. This juice does have a lot of flavor already. We give it an extra more kick to it. You add the sauce on top, give it extra flavor. And generally you don't wanna do, cook too many crawfish into the same uh, pot here because eventually if the water will turn, the flavor will kind of dilute it and it gets a little, not good. So you wanna kinda of start it over and uh, kinda of redo the sauce again, this pan. If you're doing a lot, I'm just doing 10 pounds today. That's good enough for two batches. I'll go ahead and stick my other five pounds in there. Give them sauce like so, and we're gonna just pour the sauce on top of it like this. 
Get that extra garlicky butter and onions. If you want it to be extra spicy, go ahead and dump some cayenne pepper on top of it to give it a bit more spice. That's what I'm going to do. Cayenne pepper. I give it a good stir. All right, guys, good to go. This is it. I just put some salsa on top of it. I put some more cayenne pepper. So this is good to go. I'm gonna show you guys how do I peel my crawfish. I eat my crawfish. First thing I like to do is I like to lick the outside and suck the uh, the juices. <coughs> Spicy. I like to peel the tail. I just got this out of the um, a pot. It was pretty hot. Pop up the tail like this. Get the claw. The claw is pretty big. I'm gonna save it to the side. Get that in a second. Well, the first thing is. I like to do it. I don't like to suck the head like this. I like to crack it open like this by just peeling it up on the side, pull it over. So it gives you more access to the uh, inside. So this is the best part. I, I kind of pinch this side and pull it out a little bit. All the, uh, the good brain butter, they call it sometimes. This is the best part. So I like to pull this back out and just suck that. <laughs> Where all the juices. Mm. That's for the tail. I like to pinch it. Get one side, peel it, peel it over like so. Pinch the tail to the end so you can peel the entrail. See that entrail right there? Pinch it and kind of pull, and the entrail should just come on out like that. And you have your crawfish. Go ahead, dip it, and eat. That's part of claw. Get your teeth and bite it like right here. Once you bite it, you can crack it a little bit. And that little claw meat is right there. There you go, guys.